This is also the third event for the World Series of No Prep. Yay! Um, there we go. There we go. Standard rules. Standard rules for everything we pretty much do. Um, everything is going to be on a camera, so we will have a starting line camera and a finish line camera. Terry Hazelton's here. I don't know where he's at, but he's here. We'll be running both of our cameras. Um, the starting line camera is a tire crack, so if your tire wrinkles before that light comes on, that is a jump. If you jump, you lose. If you cross, you lose. If you both jump and you both cross, and or you both cross, whoever's first is worse. So, first person to cross or first person to jump is out. Chris has final say on any decision we make. So if there is a question on a jump or a finish line, Chris will go over the footage. Oh no. Mike and I will also go over it and we'll make a decision. Chris will make the final decision. Um, our run order today is going to be small tire and then big tire and then stick shift and then hard tire. After the first round, in between rounds, if you were eliminated, we will open it up grudge racing. So if you want to raise somebody and you're eliminated from a class, you're more than to do that between rounds. There will be no single passes during that, so you need to raise somebody during the middle of that. Uh, burnouts, if you look down here in the where the fencing is, there are spots marked. Your front tires need to be inside of that box. Not your rear tires, your front tires need to be inside that box and you'll be your burnout. You can burn out for as far as you want, you only get one burnout. Look your tires That's a burnout. So make sure that's good. You get one burnout. Again, you can go as far as you want, but you only get one. Kept dropping it. This wasn't the chip I wanted, just in case it's a bad one. Nine right. Larry Bennett. 
This is what I got. That's a pretty good draw. Larry Bennett! Draw, dang it. Last, last pair down. This part other than the boss. Larry Bennett! Huh? At least that's a good last pair down. Jeremy Anderson! Excuse me, Greg. the noise because the first pass it didn't it didn't hit and I thought maybe maybe we'd try to purge through the engine to get fresh nitrous all the way up to the to the nozzles and it caused some confusion and apparently there's people up there that was bitching about me melting down and all kind of stuff but this is my outlook on it you got a race car if you can't let it run for a couple couple minutes anyway and be able to race it probably should work on the program. Um, I understand stuff gets hot. I get it, it's hot out here. Our nitrous bottle sit up there in the sun. But realistically, we wasn't we wasn't out there that long. So, anyway, um, had a lot of wheel speed pretty much for the most of low gear. It bit right right at the end and it shifted into high gear. So, I gotta work on, work on coming it up with a happy medium because the first pass I didn't have any wheel speed and it, it wheelie. This pass I had a bunch of wheel speed. 
uh, make a couple shock adjustments. Um, probably leave the power where it's at, make some shock adjustments and see what we can do.
I can take my land. You don't have to make a pass. That was a good pass. <laughs> I did have some wheel speed. It kept the front end down. Uh, fastest pass of the day. Uh, far enough. In the uh, left lane. In the left lane, yeah. Which is the worst lane. But it's uh, it's a lot smoother out the back. Uh, somewhere down here, I felt the front end come off the ground in the high end of first gear. I don't know if I hit a bump and it, it threw it up or what. But, um, not, I, been watching that Audi all day. I knew it was fast. I knew it was going A to B every time. Um, really don't know how fast people are going though. So I was a little cautious on what I did. I didn't want to go ballistic or anything. So I, honestly, I left the tune the same from the last last round. Made a couple shock adjustments and it, it, it paid off for us. It worked out for us. So we got two more rounds to get. Hopefully, I can buy into the finals. Buy into the final. Jasper and I neither one have had a buy. Tommy has, so it's between me and Jasper. So, hope that can get a buy. Switching to nitrous, you're sitting here. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. 
You don't have to make a hit. You know. Someone on the light, and it's a 10 pounds, you're still probably gonna win. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm fine either way. Thank you. Three times, right? Yeah. And you got 
CJ who dragged the bumper. Oh, 60 yeah. feet. What? Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God, man. Yeah. So, dude, that looked like yeah. right. It was, it was Tommy, Tommy, Tommy oh, and CJ <laughs> dragged the bumper for about 200 feet. Dude, that's the tightest you've ever had against that Falcon. Oh, oh, we're on. We're on. <laughs> that's how we do You're it. You're going to be ours. Unfortunately, we don't have a PA system. We don't have a megaphone or anything like that. So I need a crowd vote of who you guys think won the wheelie contest. So they can take home about $1,900. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm going to yell. I'm going to yell the names. You guys yell, whoever's got the loudest yell will take home the money, okay? Alright. Alright. If you think Austin Shepard should win the wheelie yeah. contest, everybody yeah. yell! Yeah. Okay. If you think CJ won the wheelie contest, everybody yell! Woo! Yeah. Yeah, go over there. Oh, you want to go over there? Oh, you want to go over there? Yeah, go over there. 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 Yeah, go